Let's join me now, Colorado Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. She sits on the fiscally conservative House Freedom Caucus, the very important House Freedom Caucus. Uh, Congresswoman, thank you for joining us. So what are your thoughts? I mean, I think the House Freedom Caucus seems to be against this deal. I, is there going to be a, a rules committee a vote to, to, to have a full vote tomorrow, tonight? And what happens then, do you think? Um, yes, well, um, I can certainly tell you that the 20 who stood strong in the beginning of the Congress are still remaining strong throughout this next fight that we are currently engaged in. Uh, you know, we, we put forward the Limit Save Grow Act and we increased the debt ceiling by $1.5 trillion, not something that any of us wanted to do. None of us have ever voted for a debt ceiling increase before, but it actually, it, it lowered spending for the taxpayers by $4.8 trillion. And this deal that we're seeing now uh, doesn't line up to what we passed just a few weeks ago. Uh, the House did our job. We passed a bill. We debated it. We amended it. And we passed this legislation. The Senate sat idly by. Joe Biden sat idly by for 97 days. And suddenly, now we have to do more work here in the House because Speaker McCarthy tried to do the Senate's job and Joe Biden's job for them, but the deal just ain't right yet. Uh, so now we do have rules meeting. I was in the Rules Committee earlier today debating amendments. Um, fighting for an open rule process so we could have amendments on the House floor and try once again to make this legislation better. The Rules Committee will meet again tonight. Uh, they have had a lot on their plate, and I'm so proud of the members who are there that are fighting um, to put an end to this legislation or at least improve it. Uh, we want to see more than $1.4 billion uh, rescinded from the IRS. We want to see the full $80 billion gone because really what that means at the end of 10 years is the IRS just will hire 85,000 so, so IRS may, agents rather than the 87,000 they promised. Congressman, if I may, so you guys put together a package that was one and a half trillion dollars in the House. It passes. How did McCarthy somehow go? He, he worked against your own deal, his own his own caucus, didn't he? You know, it's never good to negotiate against yourself. Uh, I think that we all should have held the line saying that we have already done our job. We passed a bill. It was a good bill for what we had been given. It was a fiscally responsible bill. And the Senate should have done their job and taken up that bill and amended it if necessary and sent it back to the House uh, for final passage. And that did not happen. And now currently there is a GOP conference uh, taking place that I stepped out of. I want to get back to that conference um, so I could have this debate with my colleagues. But um, um, currently, there is praise and support for this horrible bill that does not have um, a, an actual debt ceiling number attached to it. It's an unlimited yeah, yeah. debt yeah, ceiling you know, you know increase. And so we're seeing it. some you, estimates you, from $4 trillion to $6 trillion. Could be, could be unlimited. Democrats, uh, Joe Biden, just, time. They're, they're gleeful. So, so, but, but, but listen to one of Joe Biden's flunkies or, or mouthpieces talking about what, what a great deal they struck against your Congress. Listen. When you go into these things, what are you doing it for? Sure, there are some days where I have to slap myself and you're like, ah, let it go. It's fine. The point is to avoid default. Yeah, and then she, and then she goes on and say, says, like, talks really negatively about, about the, the deal that you guys originally came up with, almost like it was going to be a, a horrible deal for the country. Meanwhile, they got everything they wanted, didn't they? Uh, Eric, I think so, because we're seeing Democrats say, well, we were thinking about taking this to the streets um, over these spending cuts, but then we actually read the bill, and it's not so bad, and now they're actually whipping votes in favor of this piece of legislation. This is a gift to the Democrats. This is a gift to the Biden administration. It's going to put our presidential nominee in a very bad place come election season, and uh, this, it's just a huge fail on our part. All of the Biden's radical policies are still in place place. They still have the IRA um, funds that subsidize the Green New Deal. Now, we have some great NEPA reforms in this, but if we still have those massive subsidies to the Green New Deal corporations, well, then those NEPA regulations will only be fast-tracked to, um, to further their radical agenda. All right, so I want to just throw this, this full screen up, and, and Mitt Romney's on board with it, and uh, um, Mitch McConnell's on board. The Wall Street Journal did an editorial on board with the folks. When you have Mitt Romney, um, 
The Wall Street Journal and uh, Mitch McConnell, we have a different full screen control room, put that one up. Then you know it's not a good deal for conservatives. Final thought, uh, Congresswoman. Um, yes, I just wish that Republicans would govern as they campaigned. If so, we would not um, see any members um, praising this piece of legislation. But I do want to give credit where credit is due. We've had some members um, that are typically uh, Team McCarthy, um, uh, colleagues of mine, who have come out against this legislation. And I, I encourage them to continue to hold the line. Um, we've seen uh, members like yep. Nancy Mace and Corey Mills and Kat Kamak and Diana Harshberger uh, and uh, Waltz from Florida uh, and Wesley Hunt come out against this legislation. And I I hope that they yeah. still remain in that position even after uh, they are trying to be strong armed both in the GOP conference that's taking place right now and on the House floor during votes tomorrow. Got, got to leave it there, Congresswoman. You know, it, at some point, if, if McCarthy keeps doing this, you can vacate that speakership and vote for it. it only takes one. Lauren Bober, appreciate your time. Thank you.